In this video, I will be going over the first way to figure out or approximate the definite integral when given an, e an equation. So for this example, our equation is f of x equals 8 times 0 0.7 to the power of x. So what I've done is I have graphed this function on a graph. And what I'm going to do is use the box counting method. Yeah, everybody loves to count boxes. But anyways, um, what I'm going to try to do is find the definite integral or approximate the definite integral for the values between x equals 1 and x equals 7. So let's start off with counting the full boxes. So we have 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have at least 10 full boxes. And now we're going to add little bits and approximate how much of the other boxes are underneath this curve. So this one looks around 0.8. And this one looks around maybe 0.2. And this one looks more around 0 0.6. This one, 0 0.4. And 0 0.9, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, and there's 0 0.1. OK, so these decimals that I approximated, they're exactly that. They're approximations. So when using the box counting method, there's a pretty good leeway of acceptable answers because there's only so much you can do when you're counting boxes. OK, so I have 10 full squares, and I have 4.1 of these little decimal stuff added together which gives me a grand total of approximately 14.1 squares underneath this curve and above the x-axis between the x values 1 and 7. So our approximation for the definite integral between x equals 1 and x equals 7 is approximately 14.1 units squared. 